Today on Quick Asian Curries, I'm going to show you how to make dal. Dal is a staple of Indian food and it's used very much in the same way that we tend to use gravy and it's poured over rice. It can be made to various consistencies, either very thick or alternatively quite watery. Um, and essentially what we need in order to do that is some tomatoes which I'm frying off now just to Sweet them up, some coriander, a bit of salt, and there's so many different types of dolls. Dolls are essentially lentils, and what I'm going to use today is Malawi tall dough. Now, doing it in a pressure cooker, um, this takes approximately 25 minutes, something like that, and the total cost to produce quite a substantial amount of dal, which you'll see later, is going to be somewhere in the region of approximately £1.52. So it's cheap and it's quick. The reason for using the pressure cooker is it considerably speeds up uh, the time that it takes in order to cook the food. For example, lentils cooked in here will take approximately 20 minutes once it gets up to pressure as opposed to a couple of hours if you were to cook it in the oven. But there are certain rules that you need to abide by with regards to the pressure cooker and that's basically to make sure that you never fill it more than half full because if you do then the safety valves can block which will cause them to blow. So we put approximately 250 grams of tall dal I'm using and oily tall dal there's two different varieties, the oily one I prefer, but you can use the other one if you so wish, into a pressure cooker. And then we basically add approximately two to three inches of water on top of that. So so that's about as much water as you need. Now we put the pressure cooker on and bring it up to pressure which takes approximately 5 to 10 minutes. You'll know when it's up to pressure as it will start to whistle. So now the pressure kicker is up to pressure and as you can see, steam is starting to escape and you can hear it hissing. At this point, turn the temperature down and leave it for approximately 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, you need to cool the fresh cooker down. So you simply take it to the sink. Let it end up cold water. And then you'll see that the safety valve itself and the handle drops down. That then means that it's no longer under pressure. Lift the weight gently. And then simply twist the pressure cooker and then the dial itself is ready. Now just give it a stir just to make sure that the consistency is universal. So here's the tomatoes that we fried earlier, so that can be added into the dal. That's coriander that we chopped. And then I quite like to add onions to this, some people do, others don't. But if you do, you can either fry onions or alternatively, what I prefer to do for two reasons, is basically I use and normally I use TRS's crisp fried onions. Now you can get these from most Asian stores, but actually Astro is selling them at the moment. The reason for using this is that, um, first of all, it, it reduces dramatically the amount of smell that you've got from frying onions. Also, they're incredibly quick and easy and very delicious. And the actual cost of those is £2.49 for a kilo which probably represents the best part 
I would suspect, of 15 kilos of onions before you start frying. So, very, very cheap option. Here's the actual onions themselves, which, again, as I say, just add it straight into there. And then, a little bit of salt to taste. Stir it all together, and then, essentially, that's your dough. So as you can see, absolutely delicious, nutritious and cheap.